good morning everyone i'll start with uh, my presentation with this diagrams which shows the recurrence of epithelial ovarian cancers and uh, it's uh, very important when we treat and the patient when they present with the recurrence we have to know in what place and what time she recur after the chemotherapies so you can see here uh, about five percent of the patient they actually progress during chemotherapy treatment and which called refractories types and these patients usually do the worst so the early the recurrence occur the worse the prognosis and the later the recurrence occur better diagnosis and multiple or many option of treatment so the refractory uh, refractory type of patients with the one that recur within six months it's called platinum resistant and most of these patient either they not have or the surgeon was not able to do complete cytoreduction or if they were in new adjuvant treatment they don't usually respond they have either partial response or no response at all and I think this is goes with the theories of the tumor biologies the other type which is the platinum sensitive patient the patient that recur between 6 to 12 months and it's goes with platinum sensitive group but it's partial one and these these patients usually respond to platinum initially but later on they will have again recurrence and recurrence till they develop the platinum uh, resistant another type which is usually recur later than 12 months and these patients that do actually better than the other groups and we can offer them many type of treatment including surgical resection if they are uh, or if they have uh, good selection criteria. Again, when the patient present at the diagnosis primarily, our aim always for cure. And about 17 percent, they actually has no relapse after. 10 years but when the patient present in the recurrence so always our aim for the treatment it's quality of life again so very important when the patient recur we have to state the patient whether she's a refractory or resistant or she's platinum sensitive group and you will see there is a different type of treatment in each groups and this is the factor impacting the therapies comorbidity of the patient performance status disease volume and prior toxicity to the chemotherapy that she used also the, the drugs related 
uh, factors, which is efficacy, scheduling, and toxicities. Tumor factors, it's very important that therapy uh, uh, interval, free interval, and resistant status. So the first group that I'll talk about, it's the platinum sensitive disease group. So the option that we have, it's surgery in selected cases, single versus combined therapies. Rarely we use radiation in these cases. Psychosocial support and clinical trial eligibilities. So, as I mentioned, the later the recurrence, the more option we have. And sometimes we deal with them like as they primary presented. So, what we usually do in our units, we review this patient in our tumor board, whether she is for cytoreduction or chemotherapies. We use certain criteria, which is the platinum uh, sensitive patient interval recurrence, single site, performance status. Also, we have to make sure that we have all the facilities, which is ICU, an instrument, and also surgical teams. If the patient, we decide not for surgical resection, then these patient usually do much better with combined chemotherapies rather than single agent. And here the, the, the studies showed that both progression free survival and overall survival uh, better in combined uh, therapy platinum uh, with baclitaxel or platinum with gemcitopine. Again, we have to put in our mind the side effect, mainly the neuropathies, which shows with, uh, if you go with platinum and baclitaxel, you will have more neuropathies than if you uh, combined uh, platinum with uh, doxyl. Again here, the different trials that showed the combined therapies, it's better than single agent. Uh, the trial, it's not clear here, but both uh, European ICON uh, 4 and the GOG studies, it shows both the progression-free survival as well as the overall survival. It's better in uh, platinum-sensitive uh, patients group. So, what about target therapies for platinum sensitive patients? We have now two types, which is the angiogenesis inhibitors or PARP inhibitors. How these uh, medication works the angiogenesis inhibitors work in actually the VGF, the uh, uh, intracellular uh, blood vessels, which is 
uh, inhibit the VEGF and cause uh, uh, or decrease the angiogenesis to the tumor cells. And this is the study which was uh, presented in ASCO 2011 comparing the uh, bevizumab with uh, chemo compared to the chemo alone. And the studies actually showed which was randomized phase 3 which shows these patient progression free survival did better than the chemo alone. So the hazard ratio was 0.48 and the progression free survival was 12.4 months compared to only 8.4 months for the chemo alone. Also the response rate as well as the, uh, the complete response rate uh, for the Vizamab group it shows better uh, than the chemo alone. But unfortunately, for overall survival, there was no difference between the two groups. But again, quality of life and progression free survival, it's actually, it's very important in the uh, ovarian recurrence. What about PARP inhibitors? Again, the mechanism that uh, the medication uh, bind the PARP, so prevent repairing of the DNA of the cancer cell so and that's what led to cell death. And uh, Dr. Tom Herzog, he will talk about the PARP inhibitors after this lectures or this presentation and also we will have the satellite symposium regarding the PARP inhibitors. And again, the, the SOLO2, which was presented in SGO 2017s for the mutated BRCA1 and 2 ovarian cancers recurrence using the medication compared to the placebo as a maintenance therapies and which shows a little side effect and demographic patient with mutated ovarian, epithelial or fallopian tubes using two or three lines and the platinum sensitive group between 6 to 12 months or more than 12 months. And this is the progression free survival with hazard ratio 0.3 and p value 0.001. The oleprop or PARP inhibitors group progression free survival 19 month compared to 5.5 months for the placebo group using the blind reviewer 
it shows actually it's better that progression free survival it's a 30 months compared to 5.5 months and so when we have a patient who's platinum sensitive recurve after six months and that's actually it's easy to summarize so we have to decide whether this patient surgically selected group can go for surgery or chemotherapies and always we use two chemotherapies platinum and other and if the patient not used VGF medication or bevizumab we add bevizumab and if the patient BRCA mutated we uh, start the PARP inhibitors after the chemotherapies. What about the other group, the platinum resistant disease? Surgery rarely indicated. Single versus combined therapies we use. Radiation in isolated cases. Psychosocial support and clinical trial eligibility. It's bigger option for this patient sometime. And this is the phase three studies which shows different type of chemotherapy, non-platinum chemotherapy used. And you can see the the, the poor prognosis that uh, progression free survival most of them average it's 4.4 months and overall survival it's about 12 months and this is again it shows that no difference if using single agent compared to double agent there's different studies uh, prove it what about VGF or bevizumab again and I think this group everybody agreed here that to use the bevizumab in this group it's uh, better choice than uh, maybe platinum sensitive because we don't have too many things to offer them. So again, bevizumab in this group showed again the improvement of progression-free survival and with the hazard ratio 0.4 and p-value 0.001. Again, it's also showed good uh, response. So, and this is again to summarize the platinum resistant. So, to decide whether this patient is it for chemotherapy, she can take chemotherapy or not, no, then for supportive care or if she's for chemotherapy then to choose single agent to add bevizumab it's a good option for this group so in conclusion most of the epithelial ovarian cancer recur treatment depends on uh, tumor free interval or platinum sensitive or resistant combination or therapy in platinum sensitive is 
the treatment of choice, cytoreduction in platinum sensitive selected cases, monotherapy in platinum resistant is the choice of this group, targeted therapy especially PARP inhibitor demonstrates significant progression free survival in a platinum mutated sensitive patient. Thank you.